still a pound a week for an ad? Yes. Can you check that for spelling, please? I thought you prided yourself on your spelling. Yeah, I'll have a look. Uh, do you mind? It's illegal to look at other people's post. Sorry. It's going in the window. Everyone's going to be looking at it. Wanted. Professional, preferably male. <laughs> I've learnt not to trust other women. To share with shy, creative... Shy? Girl. Please ring. Yeah, I do oh. know my own telephone number, thanks. Well, I expect that up today, then. Nicola. No. It's too late for apologies, Emily. You haven't paid your pound. Oh. My room looks lovely, Dad. Um, but you mind if I got rid of this? They've said girls like potpourri. Well, normally I would. It's just, at the minute, I don't know whether I want to eat it or be sick on it. Maybe I've... Uh, maybe I've overdone it. It was a lovely thought. Cafe's up. Why don't you go and catch up with some of your friends? You sure? Don't overdo it, though. Nothing too exciting. At Viv's, Dad. As if. Fancy telling me we could knock through to the B&B? Who the hell does he think he is? Rocco Flame and Forte? He's not even bought into the pub yet and he's demolished it already. Can we talk about me now? So there we are in the club, right? Me, Ray, loads of his friends and a couple of celebrities. Who? I don't know, I think they were ex-footballers or something. Anyway, it's the first time we've ever been out of this village as a couple. You'll be meeting the mother next. Well, at least we made a start. I think he's really opening up to me. Any good-looking fellas for me? Diane. Well, a girl's got to keep her hand in. Hey, I'll tell Mike you said that. Tell him what you like. Two pints, please, Diane. I'll tell you what. I'll get them if you carry some beers down to my house. Do you know I'm having a barbecue? Don't worry, Ray's doing the cooking. Um, actually, I think I'm busy this afternoon. Doing what? No, we'll be there. What time do you want us? I don't even know why you bothered. Is it right, weirdo Nicola? She isn't. She must have been to sleep with you in the first place. So, Lucy, Nicola, how many times have you been bin now? Victoria wants someone to go and play Dolly Hospitals. I'm off. I'll try not to stalk Katie. She only just got back. Well, I'm meeting Ollie at the cafe. Oh, well, if you do see Katie... Yes, Dad, I know. Play it cool. Stop stressing. See you later, loser. Just ignore him. It's probably better you found out what Nicola's like now, before you got all involved and compli... Robert? Shut up. It was never going to work out with her. What would you know? I've been dead from the waist down for years. I don't want anything to do with Raymond. Well, neither do I, but I won't miss the chance to sneer at her. And it's not her fault I blow it's well dodgy, is it? But she's still with him. Well, we all turn a blind eye when it suits, don't we? Look. I don't have a bloke anymore, and I blame him for that. Oh, suit yourself, then. I'll take pictures if anything kicks off. <laughs> hey, Andy, I hear Katie's back. Uh, yeah, I think so. Can I have a lemonade, please? Yeah, sure. Stop pretending! You're wearing your knickers! Have you seen her? Yeah, she sent me a text, and she's coming in here in a bit. Anyway, what's all this about your Rob? <sighs> Yesterday was the best day of my life. First of all, I saw the baby on the scan. Yeah. And then I went home and I found out Robert had just been dumped. <laughs> His bottom lip was trembling the whole day. <laughs> Hi, Rob. <laughs> so, you can buy crisps at Viv's. I take it there's another reason you've popped in? That's our baby. Never in the world. Look, there's its eye. Only one? Hmm, Cyclops in the family. <laughs> Look at you. What? All puffed up and pleased with yourself. Well, that's only just sinking in. Oh, what's it like? You wait all day for a granddad and two turn up together. <laughs> right, Jack. Hello, Victoria. Hello. I'm glad you've sorted things out with Katie. Oh, you've already seen one. Oh, come on, let's have a look at yours. It's a different angle. Apparently, that's its eye. Brian, if that's its eye, you're going to have to put the nappies on its head. Can you feel anything yet? I just feel fat, Chloe. You're joking. You look like a lollipop stick. Oh, is that a compliment? Um, <laughs> don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, would you grab me a chip, boy? Yeah. Welcome <laughs> home. Cheers, <laughs> Chloe. Oh, do you two want me to go? No. no. Anyway, I want to know what's been happening. Well, Donna's become a model. <laughs> I'd 
Lovely. She did a first photo shoot in rubber. What kinky? Oh, she wishes. <laughs> she had to wear waders, a plastic oh. poncho. <laughs> so funny, she looks a complete div. You won't be laughing when she gets the check. Well, all right, don't get out of your pram. I'm just saying. Anyway, our Rob's had his heart broken. Who by? Oh, don't be rotten. That Nicola's such a witch. Nicola Blackstock. <laughs> I thought the Irish were meant to throw a good party. It's very civilised. Another word for dead. It's early days, it. You're only saying that because you've got your hip flask on, yeah? And what are you doing here? There's a good mate of mine. Oh, oh, you are? I think I was going to give him an hand. You never offered to give me hand when I was paying you. Can I replenish anyone? Yeah. No, but you can get us another drink. <laughs> I'm really glad you came. Creamy Yorkshire, us. No, so she says. There you go, Chris. Divvy that out. Pardon? Well, we don't stand on ceremony here. You're pretty moxy. You want to prick your sausages, otherwise they'll explode. Can only do this favour, will you? Yeah, anything. Go away, I'm trying to concentrate. Danny, there's some beer in the fridge if you prefer that. Cheers. Hey, have you pricked those? Everybody's got an opinion. Right, I'm Australian. There's nothing I don't know about a barbecue. Hey, lighten up. You look like you're about to face a firing squad. <laughs> What's he doing here? It was terrible, isn't it? Anyone would think we were having a party. See, Andy couldn't wait to get away. He said he had to look after Victoria. Hey, we'll be getting some practice in. <laughs> what? Has he been seeing Donna? What? Seeing her, seeing her? It's just the way we were going on about her. So he's not allowed to have any mates? I didn't mean that. Katie, he spent the whole summer trying to get money together for the baby. That is all he's talked about since he got back. Mm. To be honest, we're bored rigidly. <laughs> really? It's just my dad made a few cracks, that's all. Yeah, well, ignore him. Take anything he says about Andy with a pinch of salt. Oh, yeah. That's a bad smell. Can't get rid of you. <laughs> You're worried people might think we're more than just business partners. We're not even that. <sighs> Yet. If you say one word about what I can do with my pub, I'll shove the deeds right Hi. up... Hi! Hello. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Well, everything looks great, Louise. Congratulations. Must be a sickener for you. Huh? You lose the house first and then the bird to the fella that bought it. Yeah, I take it one of these isn't for me. Oh, there's plenty in the kitchen running up, so... Thank you. Yeah, go and see what you missed out on. Thank you. How's it going? Fine. Apart from Ray having a face like a smoked bum. Well, maybe he's not capable of party spirit two days in a row. Well, I made such an effort with his friends. That's fellas for you. Speaking of which, where's mine? Oh, over there, talking about charity. I would have thought some of your pals would be here today. Thought you were my pal, Betty. Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. Well, you know what it's like in a small village. You, you get tired of seeing the same old faces. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> Betty, I think uh, Seth's wondering where you are. Digging oh, well, in wonder. And Edna's slagging off your uh, nude calendar thing. I think she's whipping up a bit of a protest. How many times have I got to tell her? If we get the cabbages in just the right place, it's going to be very tasteful. What do you want? Look, I was forced to come here by Louise. Do you know, Scott, you could be quite successful. You didn't let women walk all over you. How is Chloe, by the way? <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> have you forgiven me about yesterday? Any more plans hatched with Rodney in your history? <laughs> Give me no time again, is she? Listen, son, he might be your boss, but he isn't mine. What's that? What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Mac, my dear. Diane, my dear. I think that lad's got a bit of a jealousy problem when it comes to you and me. He doesn't know where he stands, does he? Bless him. So why don't we live together, eh? Then you'll have to get used to it. When you said something about commitment, I didn't think you meant moving in. Yeah, well, I didn't then, but, but I do now. 
I mean, come on, Darren, we've been fanning about for months, haven't we? I'll say something then. Is that a mobile in your pocket? No, I'm just uh, pleased to see you. I'll switch it off, eh? Oh, no, I've, I've gone all hot. I'll need a couple of seconds to get over it. Answer it. Girls against boys. Oh, that's oh, good, yeah. oh, oh, I don't believe in ball games. You don't believe in fun of any sort. <laughs> Do you want another drink while she watches, mate? Who says I'm not playing? I mean, <laughs> sorry. Right, go on, I'll be back, Stump. Oh, I don't know about that, Betty. You've got to be quick. Mm, cheeky. <laughs> right, I'll do bowling. Betty, under arm on please. We screwed. <laughs> By said Jerry, I'm. Why did the lads get a bat first? It's my party and I say so. Yep. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. Oh, it's great. We need to liven things up a bit. What about the windows? It's OK, Dad. I'll pay for any damages. Do you fancy sloping off? That was Ollie. Sinks are blocked. Place is in a right state. So? Is it Len there? No. <clears throat> and I did do some plumbing work. I feel responsible. Great timing. Well, Andy's still away. Did I say anything? No. Oh, what difference does it make? Go if you must. The other thing I'll keep. Okay. I'm a baby, Philip. Let's have one. Hey, you said you wanted a puppy last week, Kaz. I make your mind up. When's our real baby coming? Oh, a few months yet. If it's our baby? Yeah. How did it get inside Katie? Oh, look, that is here. You might get some sweets. Sweets, 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 sweets. sweets. <laughs> uh, where's Robert? Oh, you haven't been stirring it, have you? Oh, Come on, Paddy! Come on! Go on, Paddy! Paddy. Go on, Paddy. Go on, Paddy. <laughs> Oh, what was going on with that before? <laughs> Not in front of the children. He said to say sorry, he had to go to an emergency up at the Reynolds. What? Is Angie back? Why is everyone obsessed with Angie? You've got something on the shoulder, Diane. Well, well, it's got green eyes, it looks like a monster. <laughs> We're all as childish as you. I better get out of the pub. Why do you have to? Well, you never know. A half-decent buyer might have turned up. <laughs> she loves me, really. No, she doesn't. Of course. Mm. <laughs> Great host. Do you think he's trying to tell us something? Here comes a googly. Robert? Rob? So why hang round if you didn't want to see me? That's not anything you want. Oh, you're all right. I'm playing Dollars of Victoria. <laughs> I jumped the gun before about, about the prom. No, look, I wanted to say I'm sorry about that. You know, I got spooked and it was all a bit too much. You, you just had organised. So, do you want to have the prom at yours? Only Victoria's been using it as a toy. She's been ramming into the furniture. It'll be broke about the time the baby comes. <laughs> so. Have you seen Robert, Andy? Uh, yeah, he's at the um, bingo hall. Pick up a new granny. <laughs> Got up that kid with you two for parents. Oh, I'm dead pleased to be home. Good. I will live with him. I won't. I will live with him. I won't. I will live with him. Don't worry. What hang around your house or anything. I know. I just really wanted to see you. How could you do that to me? You wouldn't take no for an answer, Rob. I thought you liked me. So you're going out with him now? <sighs> Sid isn't interested in me. 
Never has been. Not in any sort of way that matters. I'm glad. I hope he uses you and makes you feel like an idiot. Well, you already asked. That's what you deserve, you evil cow. You see? You're learning already. Does it make you feel good? Hurting someone this much? Come and tell me when you've done it. Right, who's for coffee? Where is everybody? They're gone. Gone where? I don't know, wherever they wanted to. You were upstairs. I thought it had gone quiet. Did you ask them to leave? Lou, people have other things to do. I know I have. You did, didn't you? I didn't say a word. Excellent. Stony silence, then. Ray, you're supposed to talk to people when you have a party. Louise, they ate food, they drank booze, they had a game of rounders, for goodness sake. It was a party. What more do you want? I want the kind of effort I made for you last night. That was different. Oh, really? And why is that? Because your friends are more important than mine, is that it? I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. Now you're just being silly. Oh, but I'm surprised you didn't drive the point home by putting your pyjamas on. We all get the message, Ray. No more parties. Good job you like cleaning up. Done nothing else all day. God, I was having a dream. Rodney was chasing me in the JCB. What time is it? Six o'clock. Sorry, love. Why? What you done? Missed the party. Oh, I didn't stay much longer myself. Did you come through the bar? Yeah, it's dead quiet in there. Trisha promised it wouldn't be disturbed. That sounds good. I hope you've got something terribly hedonistic in mind. I was draped enticingly on this sofa before I dropped off. Make yourself at all. Hey, if I'm shifting in, you'll not have to be running round after me, you know. Look what I found tucked down the sofa. Oops. I must have a chat with my mate Johnny. He could do us a fantastic deal on a reconditioned twin tub. Who the hell uses twin tubs these days? Well, I was only joking. Oh, right. Sorry. How's Ollie doing? Oh, she was up to her ears in crud when I got round here. But I got it all sorted out. It's all over now. Don't worry. I'll not be going back. Are you thinking out loud here? Or are you trying to tell me something? Well, well, you must admit, it did cause a bit of friction between us, didn't it? Maybe. But that's all over now. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I'll not be going back. I meant me feeling put out all over. I admit I was a bit threatened, but that's past. And as far as I'm concerned, as long as you're paid and happy in your work, you can fiddle around at any woman's house. You were only doing your job at the Reynolds. OK. And I'm sick of being treated like some kind of jealous hysteric every time anything to do with Angie comes up. And you looked sheepish at the party when I came over and you were talking to charity. I didn't. I was just talking about building work. You're doing it again? Ooh, don't upset Diane. She might start crying. I don't give a monkey's what you were talking about. It's the fact you look guilty gets my back up. Where's all this come from? Calm down. First and only rule in this house, no man tells me to calm down, ever! Andy brought it round. <laughs> I can't believe all the different bits on it. Do you think it'll push the baby by itself, or will we still have to do it? Dad, I promise I won't take advantage. Isn't that what granddads are for? Yes, and I am pleased to be back, but me and Andy were determined to do it between us, somehow. Oh, and uh, I thought you might like to know that Andy's not going out with Donna. Oh, right. Well, there you go, then. I know. Why don't we move in together? But take a vow of silence. That's the most sense you've made all day. Why don't I make you a cup of tea, then, eh? Make mine a cocoa. I obviously inspire a need to cosset. it. I'm trying to put your mind at ease, Diana. I've had dozens of women. So what? 
Half a dozen's a man. Yeah, but I thought you wanted commitment. No, you assumed I did. And what I don't want is to be treated like some silly old biddy. Oh, here we go. Back on to the age thing again, are we? No, you are. Every time you so much as pass the time of day with anything under 90, you're looking over your shoulder to check how I'm not upset. That's rubbish. Is it? And what does that say about us? That you're the one with the chances. You're the one in this relationship in danger of strain at any second. And actually, I'm quite insulted by that. You know Brad Flame and Pitt? I mean, what the hell is going on here, Diane? You tell me. <sighs> All right. I've been round the block millions of times. From dozens to millions. God, you're quick. But I'm with you now. And I want a proper grown-up life. I want to wake up every morning with you and talk about what's in the papers and share things like proper couples do. I... Am I talking out of my backside here, but I was under the impression that you love me. So why don't you stop screaming at me for five minutes and I'll go home and I'll pack my bags. Have you heard the words? Yes, Mac, I'd really like you to move in with me. Well, no, but... He just assumed that I'd jump at the chance if it was offered. I'm not desperate, and I certainly don't want to be the tail end of your more exciting moments. Somebody to sit with while you reminisce about what a wild time you used to have. I want wild now. I might be a granny, but I'm still as up for it as any 20-year-old. I've never been proper, love. Proper's a dirty word in my book. But what happens when you are old and you're still living on your own, eh? A woman's greatest fear, being on her own. I managed perfectly fine before you came along. Find someone else to share your foot warmer with. Oh, I wish I'd never brought up moving in with you now. I'm glad you did. It saved us both a lot of hurt. Don't forget your sock on the way out. <laughs> 